Hey guys, lately I've had quite a few customers that have been inquiring about how to leave feedback and how to mark a, an order as received. So I thought I'd make this quick video just so people can look it up and I can link them to it and they can see how the screens, the pages all set out and how you do such things. So if I go to my quick link and go to my orders that I've placed. So this shows the orders that I've got placed. Uh, today I received an order from one of the one of the suppliers on this list. I haven't even opened the, the order yet, but I know who it's from and I know it's going to be perfectly spot on because I think this is like my 20th order with this particular person. So I'll quickly open the parcel. Which everyone should do anyway. Everyone should be opening the parcels and checking. Even if you are 100% sure it's, everything is going to be fine, it doesn't hurt to check your parcels. We're all just human after all, and mistakes do happen. So, I've got my order here. So, just quickly check it. I don't know what's actually in the order, I'm just going to make sure. So, okay, so obviously, yep, I knew it would be all there. Okay, right, so order's all good, which I knew it would be. So, let's go through the process, because everyone's unsure, apparently, for whatever reason, how to um, successfully complete an, a um, sale and how to leave feedback. So, my order that I've just received is from Queensland Bricks. So, what you do is you go to where it says shipped, just here, and you click on shipped and it's a pull down menu. Now, what you can do is click on received and then hit, hit submit changes. When the page refreshes, the order is now marked as received and it will be marked as received on the sellers list as well. Once you've checked through your order and it's all there and you're happy, then simply click on uh, the received again and then scroll down and click on completed and hit submit changes. The order is now completed on your list here and on the seller, on the seller's page, it'll be listed as completed on there as well. Once you've left your, um, once you've marked it as completed, sorry, then go to post. Now this is something I ask everyone to do and I send out emails, um, feedback request emails on a monthly basis because people, for some reason, love it when I give them feedback and it boosts their feedback rating, but they refuse to give me mine for whatever reason. So if I link you to this video, please watch it so you know how to leave the feedback so you can't, people can't use that as an excuse. And please leave the feedback. It means just as much to a seller as it does to a buyer. So to leave the feedback for this particular order, you click on post. That'll bring you to this screen. Now you can leave neutral or negative feedback, but if you click here just to type out a statement, uh, type out your feedback, it'll automatically mark it as positive. So this is my 19th order with Queensland Bricks. So you'd leave whatever, as you can see, I've done this quite a few times. So you leave whatever the feedback is you want to leave, depending on how good the service was, the packing, the parts, you know, pretty much everything. And then once you've left your feedback, you hit, you click on preview feedback. So you can see that it's already, already gone through. So it's, sorry, it's all ready to go through. Then click on post feedback. Then just click on go back, click on submit changes. And it's now left feedback. Now, if you don't want your page, your screen filled, uh, hang on, let me click on all. If you don't want your screen filled with all the orders you've ever placed, what you can do is click on this little square here 
and then click submit. And what this does is it files the order, it basically archives it, so you can submit it, and the order's disappeared from my page. But if you go to all, or even filed, all your filed orders show up, show up there. And then it's that easy to leave feedback. So yeah, you know, what's that? Five minutes of me, five and a half minutes of me rambling and 30, sec 30 seconds of actual work. So yeah, that's it. That's that easy to leave feedback. So yeah, from now on when people ask me how to do it, I'll just be able to link them straight to this video once I get it uploaded. All right, thank you for that everybody. And I hope that helped anyone that wasn't sure how to do the actual feedback and marking an order complete. Catch you all later. Bye.